me and you've got small rooms, your sofa is probably against the wall, but if it isn't, we have ideas of what you can put behind it. Please welcome Kimberly Selden. My love, where have you been all my life? My goodness, I've missed you, it's been a while. I know, I've missed you too, and I'm feeling very plucky, surrounded by plum this morning. Oh Isn't my gosh, I color? love this set though, this is gorgeous, it, I want to move in here. It feels really current, yeah, uh, but it's it also timeless, which I love. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about one of my pet peeves, and I only have about 178 of them, so this won't take any time at all, but one of my pet peeves is people will leave the back of the sofa, sh uh, you know, exposed, as if it's some gorgeous thing, and typically, not so much. It's not. And often, it's a way to get uh, another function into a room, if mm -hmm. you think about it. So this was brought to mind because we recently did a client's and we did a concrete bench behind their sofa and they Ooh, thought, nice. in theory, they thought it's going to be weird, but when they saw it, they went, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Makes perfect sense. So let's take advantage of that space. So we've got a beautiful set. And one thing I did want to point out, we do have two carpets and they are in very similar colorways. They're the same size, mm -hmm. but there are different patterns. So when you're thinking about that area carpet, another one of my rules is the bigger the carpet the bigger the room looks right so really try to enclose the entire area with the two carpets and of course we went to LT to do some shopping and we did some shopping at the market now it's like a village down there it's fabulous I know they've got everything you need so we've got that a living room set up and you probably all have a sofa and a couple chairs and a coffee table and that's awesome it's what behind it that we want to talk about and right now what I have here is a desk mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a small thing but so often clients will say to us can I put a desk in the kitchen it's almost always stuck in a little niche you're facing a, a wall a blank wall and it would be so much nicer if you actually do need a desk in your life on the main floor put it out in the living area yeah. put it out somewhere where it's beautiful when you're having a party it can become a buffet you could put easily use this as a bar the surface of it as a bar I like where you're going with I this. keep alcohol in my desk yeah I think that's a smart, so that's a I wise think move. it totally makes also, sense you interact with people yeah. I mean sometimes those desks in the kitchen you're facing the wall the activities happen behind you here you're interacting with people and still getting some work done that's it and nice. you actually if you do actually have to pay bills you've got your big television sitting yeah, over there because you're watching fun. city line anyway yeah. it's a very practical um, setup and it's found space really what do you need another three feet maybe if you right. just push your uh, conversation grouping together you can probably find this space for yourself so you've got a couple of other ideas of yep. what you can put behind the sofa I'm so happy you brought my Oscar Award my <laughs> Academy Award with you today it's beautiful She's beautiful. Isn't She's she? so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous.